Is it on? Is it on, honey? Is this bitch recording? Oh, what's up, YouTube land, Twitter land, Instagram land, Snapchat, Grinder, Squawk, BGC, Jack, Facebook, Periscope, and last but not least, every single one of my bitches. Christian Mingle and the lands all across the land. This is your girl, T.S. Madison, and I'm coming to you loud, loud, and always and forever in color from the Queen's Supreme Court. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we need you to get those drinks together, get your seats, and honey, get ready, because these shows are ones for the books. You already know how it goes, girl. You about to go to trial. Ah, <laughs> the Queen's Supreme Court starts now. Is you live? Is you live, whore? Whores, are you live? Oh, yes, honey. It is that time, baby. The Queen's Supreme Court will be loud, live, and always and forever in color in Orlando, Florida. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The doll is bringing the seat to your city. Bitch, Funky Doniva and Jesse Wu will be my guest Supreme Court judges. Ladies, jurors, gentlemen, get up, start what you're doing right now, and get over there and get your tickets at www.eventbrite.com. That's www.eventbrite.com. And look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Orlando. Don't beat me there, bitch. These tickets is gonna sell out fast, so you bitches better get them now. Get over there to www.eventbrite.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live in Baltimore. That's the Queen's Supreme Court live in Baltimore, Maryland, bitch. And listen, don't beat me there, honey. <laughs> beat me there. Oh, yeah. Bitch, I ain't alive. Bitch, we, if we lie, hold on, let me find out if we lie, bro. I'm dead and resurrected, honey. Bro, let me find out if we lie. I done died and came back hold as on. a leopard, bitch. You know, bitch, we, we wildin', we wildin', wildin out tonight. Wildin' out, baby, lion country for all the teams, baby. Hold on, wait a minute, to make baby. sure we wildin' out tonight. You already know we got the end of, uh-uh, y'all ain't. What?
told to keep doing that shit every motherfucking week. It's hot in Africa. We got, we got the leopard. <laughs> the leopard print on me. Bitch, we feel like the jungle. Bitch, you see I sat down? Bitch, I done sat down, too. I see if she can have the intro. Please sit my big ass Ooh, down. Hold on, I'm out of breath. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I'm out of breath. Hold on, girl. Just wait. We got us 30 seconds, people. Baby boy, let me lose my breath. <laughs> let me Ladies and gentlemen, something. welcome to the Queen's. Supreme Court, yeah. aka Lion Country Safari. That's right. Give a round of applause for our judge, honey, our honorary stable judge, fucking Daniva. Yeah. I am giving zookeeper teeth. Yes, God. I'll be your zookeeper, honey. Bitch, I'll be, I'll be your lioness tonight. Okay, yes, cause now. Come on now, look. That's lying, uh, King. All you young hoes that don't understand. Oh, bitch. when I tell you I'm out of breath, I'm trying to catch. We're gonna try to entertain and catch. We're trying to entertain. Just have a moment of silence. Let's just have a moment of silence for our titties and bodies, bitch, and with and bob weaves and shit like that. Cause, bitch, bitch, we tired. I'm still tired from the ball this weekend. Girl, yeah, the ball this weekend was the team. You know, I ain't even got no shoes on, girl. But listen, my feet were so crunched up in them. <laughs> <laughs> the Gentleman's Foundation. <laughs> y'all, I'm finna send my orthopedic bill to y'all because my feet just tore up. The last people who tore my feet up like that was Deborah Lee when I did the BET Awards. <laughs> they had been standing out there for three hours interviewing the people. Feet was tore up. Child and Nick had the audacity to try to give us $20 for these situations. Okay, GM1, yeah, y'all gave me a piece of salmon. Yeah, y'all gave me some chicken or whatever, but bitch, I'm finna send my orthopedic bill to y'all because I don't appreciate the way my bunions is barred. <laughs> right now. Period, bitch. Okay. Period. Period. Tell the people. Me and Maddie, I don't know if y'all saw the pictures, the Gentleman's Foundation through the 7th Annual Gentleman's Ball, a night to remember celebrating LT LGBTQ RSPUZ 703 people. X, Y, and Z. And um, it was just a phenomenal it event. Was. They said, you look very good, okay. man. But when I, when, I, when I walked up, bitch, you was, you was serving me, you was just serving me looks, bitch. Man, you was, was giving trying. me, you was giving me rich white woman, bitch. I, I was trying. In a black ensemble, I just killed my husband, bitch, and I'm yes, walking honey, over his grave, To bitch. get my insurance check. Yeah. Show <laughs> up. You was giving me all Show the things. But and yeah, we had a really good time. We did, we did. You know, that was my first time meeting Mine too. there. And also meeting Jesse Smollett. And it's so amazing. We as LBGT people get the opportunity to walk in the room. And it's a mesh of LBGT people and also heterosexual people mm -hmm. that are that are our allies. Mm -hmm. And we, we linked up. It was a good thing. The people went crazy. They, they saw did. us together. They we did. The table. We ate up their shit. We <laughs> drunk up their shit. We you ate know? out, drank it all up, bitch. And we <laughs> had a good time, and it we was did. such a positive message to it see was. so many black people together. Yep. Yeah. It was and the wonderful. event was phenomenal. It was ran well. It wasn't no nigga shit. Craig ain't said it was run well, but you know. I did. Oh, my God. I did. Don't hide that shit. No, I said it was, it was a very was everything. well oil Shots train. Out. I'm lying. I'm being missed. You Shouts don't show out to Juan and G from yeah. the Gentleman's Foundation. And for any of you guys who want to see the photos from this legendary night, please go on Instagram, Period. the Gentleman's Foundation, also Facebook, all things. Or you can go on me and Maddie's page and hit one of the hashtags and get back to the Now, Daniva, I love you and I love okay. Juan and G. Okay. But you're giving them a lot for free. Oh. <laughs> so speaking of giving a lot for free. Especially since gonna, they haven't honored you since yet. Since they have not honored me yet, honey. And you you either. But they shall soon. <laughs> but speaking of all of the things, honey, about sponsoring. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be classy tonight. <laughs> Bitch, with that trash, she got damn motherfucking shirt on. Yeah. <laughs> now, hold on, bitch. I got the Versace blouse. You got on the damn Rico Chappelle. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! That was shame. Oh, now, that was shame, bitch. I ain't had nothing to do with that Rico. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, it is a stitch loose, but you know. Oh, yeah. 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 And it's a scratch piece. And a one piece. Well, girl, honey, you know somebody that's what we require, girl. I got a one piece by the yeah. stretch piece body, bitch. Mm -hmm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead on and start out. Uh, we would like to formally thank our sponsor for tonight's show, which is Frenchy Boule. Frenchy Boule, I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping and, and praying that they're LBGT. If they're not, they're LBGT friendly. And they have sponsored our show tonight. And uh, it's everywhere. Hold on, let me, let me read you these statements here. Okay. Um... I want to encourage my followers to go out and support the French, the Frenchy Boulet brand. 
The brand is in all markets, and if you if it's not in your wine store, you can request it. You know, these people, they, if that means they got a good deal. So and, then, and, then, and then they say an all total wine store? Yes, all total wine stores. Um, for store locations and recipes, you can go to www.frenchy, that's F-R-E-N-C-H-I, Boule, B-U-A-L-E.com, and follow them on Instagram and Facebook at Frenchy Boule. Now, we want to go ahead on it. We want to showcase the drink. They sent me a very nice drink. This is why I didn't overly turn up with this one, because we're going to open it up, Dineva, and we're going to... And while we're opening it, I want to read one segment that you said as it relates to them being LGBTQ friendly. It says, the original Frenchie Boule, What's the Tea, was founded from the catchphrase used in the LGBTQ community, which has become a part of the culture. Now, that's the, now talk about getting okay. that. So, now, we good. believe that love always wins. Our desire to show the world that love truly conquers all and to celebrate you regardless of who you are and who you love. Frenchie Boulet celebrates equality, gender, race, and of sexual orientation. We believe the best times are when everybody is included. Frenchie Boulet is proud of the community and cherishes all love. Oh, that's very important. That's very good because there are a lot of people yeah. so, you know, that will borrow from us and won't give back. So, uh, you know, with that being said, all the sissies, punks, and everything in between, oh, God. when y'all going down the total wine and stealing up all this shit, <laughs> don't steal the Frenchie Boulet. Pay for right. that. Pay for that. Okay? You feel me? Steal everything. Steal singles. Okay? Now, listen. What's the tea is a Dallas-based black-owned and black operated rated business and uh, they have a, the pineapple sweet tea vodka all right now. Um, and it is currently in all total wine and more stores and select specs wine and spirit stores throughout Texas so you Texas because we coming to Texas yes God we coming we coming we, everywhere we going we going to Houston Dallas bitch, we going to Houston Dallas and all oh, bitch we may end up in motherfucking Austin but oh, a real big dick. That's, set. Oh, God. I don't and like I'm that. definitely going to have me a bottle of this with me. I don't like that can. French. <laughs> Yo, oh. uh, they are now, mm -hmm. in, they are also in Southern Florida. Total Wine and more stores and Ocean Wine and Spirits Liquor Stores. So, all the Florida girls, y'all go out and support hey. those Let's who support us. Let me see. Yeah. Let's Let me see what this bag. Again. You want just a, just a little bit, girl? Let me see, girl. Let me stir it up. Stir it up. Stir it up. No, stir it. Stir it. Oh, you got to stir it. Let me suck it Let me suck man and see what. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Girl, what it tastes like? Bitch, she would listen. Hey. If you this shit was gonna knock bitch. me out. This this bitch is you know powerful. you know how down south everybody drinks sweet tea on the porch. <laughs> Yes, God, honey. This that grown lady sweet tea. Yeah, this that grown <laughs> For the old lady sitting, sitting under, under the tree. tree. Yeah, she called me over with, with a cup of sweet tea. tea. Oh, cup, what's what's the, tea? the tea, baby? With a cup of sweet tea. So, listen, we thank you guys for sponsoring our show because without you, the sponsors, we would never be able to make this happen. And if you're interested in sponsoring, please hit us up at booktsmadison at gmail.com. Once again, that's booktsmadison at gmail.com. And Giovanni Mack will handle all of your requests. And then, too, if you have a, um, a kid's party and you want some pet and zoo animals, you can also book us, too, bitch. It's so good. Girl, we give it all pet and farm. Girl, we give it all nasty bitch, zoo, uh, bitch, uh, uh, bitch, zoo bitch, bitch, work ain't honest, but it does what? Pays the, the bills, bills, okay? Bills, I'm trying to get my coin any way I can, baby. That, by any means necessary. Okay. Yeah. Let's get on right. to this docket, Let's baby. Let's get on to this docket, this court ledger, and all the things, honey, that you, the people, had submitted. Now, y'all, well, first, let's start off by saying this. We have listened to y'all, and I told Maddie we got to get this docket down to the hour, so we got a tight, concise show with y'all. We know y'all got to go to work in the morning, and anything that we don't get on the docket, we're we going to carry over after to the show. after show, but Craig is going to do a good job of keeping us he on tried. track on time, and we're going to get it going. He tried. He well, he the first that we have on the court... Oh, Dineva. Well, we're going to have to get this out of the way early, girl, so go on and put your mask, your robe... I ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with this. I ain't got nothing to do with this. Because the last time I did this was... Oh Come on, Dineva. Bring it home. So anybody that's going to call Tamar and tell her that Dineva is on the Queen's Court talking about Baldine, please make sure that you take your phone out right now and record what I'm saying so when she come on the after show and clap back, she can have all the facts. And so she don't have to be embarrassed down to the internet this this week. Okay. At any rate, NASA girl, this was a sickening. 
two-part season finale of Braxton Family Values. Let me tell you something. I don't give a damn what they say about Eyon Levan saying that voodoo priestess is all right with me. Yes, okay, indeed. Wakanda forever. She got down to the bottom of what the hell was going on in that Braxton family, mm -hmm. and it started with Miss Evelyn. She done fucked up the thing, okay? <laughs> Basically, from what I gather from it is, Miss Evelyn done fucked up the whole family, okay? <laughs> and it's the Braxton family with no... Baby, I know the girl, the, the Christian people could be wrong, too, in the name of Jesus. Yeah. But she wrong. Well, listen, is she a she Christian bitter, woman? She ornery, she wrong, she uh, <laughs> fucked up that man's self-esteem, yeah. she fucked up them daughters, okay, they all in there. Did you see how they, they, them girls is in there damn near 50, and when that yeah. woman was talking, they looking down at the ground, scared to even, who? Uh, and I'm sorry, I am 30. Five years old. Just show by that. <laughs> no, I go, I'm looking real 25 and I got it. No. Hold on. Hold on. Let's clear uh, that up. Uh, fuck y'all, girl. Allegedly, girl. girl. Ain't, no, ain't no defamation <laughs> over here. I look 25. I look 25. I ain't going to sue you, baby. Just get my age right. You know, y'all. You know, we got to keep the show tight tonight. I did a 48-minute YouTube video. If you really want to know how I feel, check out the YouTube video. But I'll say this. The one takeaway that I got from this is that so many times in the black community, we allow this whole respect your elders, you know, and, and we got, you can't talk back or you can't challenge the big mama mm -hmm. or grandma because it's viewed as disrespect. And what we discovered is that oh, a lot of this stuff, Miss Evelyn has been wrong and she's carried on in such a way that's just kind of been detrimental to the family. But because they live in this Christian base, you don't know, talk back to your elder son and so forth. They've just allowed Miss Evelyn to a degree so, to run amok and the Tamar run amok and the family is just all a mess. So not and, to cut you off, ju Judge Dineva. So basically what we have up here on the court ledger is Miss Evelyn? I mean, that's how I feel about it. I don't already want Tamar out. Tamar is such an easy read that I'll just pass. <laughs> But let's see what we got for the clip. <laughs> we got clips. Clip, clip yeah, we got a video. Yeah, let's see yeah. what's oh, going on. Oh, from the from the high mm -hmm. priest to the high voodoo priest. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Nazarbayev. Yeah. Who? Nah. 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 Because I don't appreciate you keep throwing yes, out these man. names. Wait, that is wait, what about my disrespect? I, mean, I all I have been is disrespectful. disrespectful. I have been, I've been called. I've, so I've, I've who been gets called. the correct Wait a minute. Calm down. Whether you agree with Ayala or not, you cannot disrespect her. Because none of you were raised that way. Tell her what you feel, but it's a way to do it, baby. So I'm not due respect. No, respect your elders. Let's go with what the word. You want to go with the word? I got this, Trina. I didn't say anything, Mommy. I'm sorry. We will. I'm telling you right darn now. You say one more word, and I got you. Now, what I did love about that clip, as much grief as I gave Miss Evelyn. Just did, because she did. I gave her the because she deserved, because, because that's six years worth of episodes she ain't never got the business, because she Miss E, and we supposed to respect our elders. During that clip, Iyana, Tamar was just running amok, and Iyana looked around and was like, is there anybody in this room that got who can control. correct her? Mm -hmm. And that's when Miss Evelyn jumped in. Yeah. So for those of y'all who did not see it, y'all have got to check out Braxton Family Values. On WE TV. <laughs> yeah. We, we here at the Queen Supreme Court thoroughly support WE, we TV. TV. Yes, we do. Hey, WE. Hey, girl, hey. We, we. <laughs> well, for me, I'm going to have to say this. We have learned that there are lots of things that are going on in that family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also want to say that I do feel like that. I, how do you say it correctly, correct? Iyanya? Iyanla. Iyanla. Uh -huh. Iyanla came and brought her voodoo high priestess powers to mm -hmm. the situation. Period. She had cleared that up and it had them pull whatever was deep down in Mother out. Evelyn. Out. It brought it and out. all of them. It did, and and I, I I really honestly I really liked seeing that. So what we what what is the, what is the verdict in this situation? I think we're gonna vacate their sentence. Vacate. I the think sentence. so. I think Iyanla. I think they time served. 
They had a time with each other, baby. Boy. So they you don't want to basically say, E, y'all, you finally, finally, yeah, fix somebody like. Because <laughs> 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 girl, went on that twice, girl, and I can't tell you how to get on worse. I didn't believe my nephew. You know I'm fucked with my nephew. Girl, move it right along. <laughs> <laughs> with the reality TV, bitch. Yeah. All right, move it right along. Speaking of reality TV and people needing their lives fixed, Don't we're going to talk about K. Michelle, honey, ran this goddamn white bitch off of her porch, bitch. Please run that motherfucking I'm sure everybody been searching the internet. The fire <laughs> trying to get one. Cause I want one. Vivid. Girl, you can go out there to the Real damn Home Depot to get you one. That, okay. They gonna let but you listen. put that. They gonna let you put that on your bar, bitch. Let me, let me girl. Next case. Next case. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, 
Girl, tearing up the girl. Girl, no, she tearing up the church is mighty. Yes, girl. All right, next we have a Craig. Who is this? Who? Who tall girl from the game? Yes. Who the one with the big old? I don't know about that Derwin. And then he played yeah, Derwin. 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 Yeah. Girl, you, they say he's not, but I ain't even worried about the DUI part, because listen, you know, you, I'm always down to the bar, and two cocktails <laughs> will make you blow a DUI. So right. every time, you know, it will. It's true. Two cocktails will make you blow a DUI. No and shame. I don't be drunk. That so, even no shame. Y'all motherfuckers get some of this got their French boule. Okay. <laughs> you you gonna definitely DUI. have a DUI cause okay. so, so yeah. she's strong. Oh, she's strong. Strong in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> But, so, I always don't be quick to judge when people be hollering at so-and-so, got a DUI. Like I said, two so glasses of wine, two one. beers, that'll get you DUI. But what's more disturbing is you was drinking and he had that two-year-old. And the bitch, the two-year-old driving, driving, the, car. driving the car. How the, wait and a minute, first of all. that's what made the white woman's uh, call. Uh, first of all, John Neville, I don't know what kind of two-year-old that is. A bad one. One that's mother, been here before. That, that, that two year old definitely have been here before. For you to back a car up, drive a car around. But no, but I think they said the car was about to run into other people's cars or did run into other people's cars. Yeah, they ran into a car. That's what stopped. Them. Oh, that's what stopped? Yeah. So almost, oh, no, so bitch, you deserve that DUI. Bitch, you was passed out drunk. You was asleep. So what we're going to do in this case, we're going to lock him up and the two year old for drunk driving. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get that two year yeah. old off the street. You too. got to train him up early. That's right. We got to lock his ass up. It's a him. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Take his ass down there to juvenile. Yes, <laughs> bitch, no bond for neither one no of them bond. motherfuckers. No so bond. The old or the two year old. No bond. Bitch. Man, okay. hold on. We might have to um, recommend after he get out that we put the two-year-old in a drinking aversion program. <laughs> Girl, I didn't have my first sip until I was 17 at two. And you see the kind of drunk I am. Yeah. But we'll start that early. Yeah. Ooh, but listen, we got we, the, the, the biggest culprit in this situation is that two-year-old. Lock him up! <laughs> Next case. Next case. All right. Uh, at least... Oh, girl. Listen, what song we was listening to the other uh, day? Right, come on, Dr. Oh, you want to hear me? Uh, Betty Wright. Uh, I'll be the other, other woman. woman. Yes. All your life. Just as long as I'm the only one other than your wife. Ain't that some shit? Your wife, how would she feel if she called us together the same way I would feel? If I caught you with another... Now how you got the nerve to be cheating with somebody that mad if they cheating on y'all? Right. Cheating on y'all. I don't want to be that person. I'd be the cleanup woman, though. And that's something... Don't, 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 hey. don't. Do, do, so, do, 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 do. That's what... Hold on. Wait, wait a minute. So, a let's up woman woman the case. Is a woman who is Alicia Keys a cleanup woman. We got the cleanup woman. All the love hey. you girl leave behind. Ow! You know what? You tell them what the... The reason I know... What you know? So, so much about her because the that shit went up. up. Oh, oh man, man about it. This is my favorite part because this is my problem. Talking sleep mm -hmm. was my rule mm -hmm. when I found out oh. that all I was doing was making it easy. Yes, for the clean up woman. I wanted to miss Jan, y'all. She got me together. <laughs> all I was, all I was doing. See, I hit my note. You did, but and you anyway, got to go back two more times, Dr. Anyway, I, mean, you know, I, I, got, I got a package. I got the six-month package. <laughs> At any rate, we got Alicia Keys, Sweet, Swiss Beats, and Michelle. Swiss Beats must got a long-ass, pretty yellow dick. Well, they say all the boys know. Ask them. Oh, Ooh. they say the boys. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, no, uh, -uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh Yeah, Johnny, we got the post. Post for the camera, Johnny, with your allegedly sign. That's be our mugshot, bitch, when they come get us a defamation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay, roll this beautiful bean footage. Please do. Shonda called you guys and said, "I have this idea about a book. <laughs> what went through your body?" I thought it was um, mm -hmm. a very positive step forward, mm -hmm. uh, being that, you know, there was a lot of misunderstandings in the beginning uh, with our communication. And when she came with the idea, it was like, wow, like, you know, um, if people can see where we came from to where we're at now, mm -hmm. uh, we thought that it would benefit uh, a lot of families and, and a lot of different people in a similar situation. We worked on ourselves individually. We worked on our relationship. We healed. We healed our children. We gave them an opportunity to see us growing. and. That's the real blend. That healing is, it's the first step to blending. We would be around a table, you know, mm. and it'd be the three of us. 
and we would set ground rules like just allowing everybody to have a moment to speak not mm -hmm. interrupting each other really praying before we started mm -hmm. so that we can create beautiful energy between us that bitch ain't getting no healing she got a check okay <laughs> Mashonda ain't no damn fool she got a check. It ain't no damn way in hell we talking about no blended family. You don't took my motherfucking man. I'm from Miami, bitch. My motherfucking man. Motherfucking man. You don't took my motherfucking man. Period. Bitch. But Period. the gag is, Mashonda's shit ain't selling. And Mashonda said, you know what, goddamn it, if I can't beat him, I'm a motherfucking Join joiner. You know, Alicia Keys a lesbian anyway, so they mm -hmm. all in there fucking oh, eating, girl, eating, where is the side? eating carbon and carrot. Some man. people want it all. <laughs> she told you, okay? She told you. She want it all. Please, let's put, okay? Please, let's post my mugshot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but nevertheless, but you know what? I, this is what I will say. Even if Mashonda is, is in it for the check, you always got to side with what's best for you in your life. The bitch don't took your man, so you can do one of two things. Be broke and bitter, or be happy and paid. And I guess she said, fucking be happy and paid. Listen, yeah. check. let me tell you And sir. Swiss and Alicia look like the kind of people, they swing anyway. But they look like the type of people that don't mind sharing the wealth just as long as you ain't causing chaos and confusion. Well, they came together and put out this book, too. It's called Blended. Okay. Oh, okay. the book is yeah, called Blended. Oh, they got a yeah. book. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and they're following behind... Will and Jada, because they did that yeah. blended, you With know, that open relationship shit. But with the blended family, but you know what? I do believe that more people need to get in the habit of, now, just as long as the husband didn't cheat on the new wife, on the, on the, on the previous wife with the new wife, then they need to learn to be blended, because this person is being around your kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you they got to have that's that together. That's what fuck your yes. feelings. You don't want yeah. somebody mad and bitter, and then, and then they're your with baby. your kids. Poison in your because baby. Because there's going to come a time that daddy going <laughs> to run to the store, or he's going to go to work and leave your kids And you rather feed person. that baby, right. giving that baby Kool-Aid feeling and that we're And you don't want this free. person mistreating your kids because they mad with you. Filling your baby a baby bottle with antifreeze, girl. Okay. Talking about this Kool Aid, but uh, Mashonda girl, you got what the you program. know what we gonna do? We gonna let all three of them go. No, yeah, well we gonna we gonna no, we gonna send this into some more counseling in family court because we just got to make sure Mashonda really down with the get down. Do we need to confiscate the children? No, no, no. I think the children is safe <laughs> just as long as they ain't doing all that swinging and yah yah in front of them. You never know what they they rich. They don't you know. Because I don't you know what Whitney turn out like Will and Jada kids. But you, you know. know what Whitney did in front of the body. I don't want to do that, but we're going to go on here because this is going somewhere we don't need it to go. Oh, so what <laughs> we doing? We got to we got. I, well, I, well, no, I just want them to do another six sessions with a family therapist just to make sure that Mashonda is really solid about this. All right, Mashonda, what we're going to do is we're going to sentence you and your and uh, your husband's wife to um, <laughs> six, months of therapy. six months of therapy. And we also are going to, we're going to promote your book, honey, for a small fee. Here's and and, and, and we're also going to have Swiss Beats put about two million up for her just in case he get to act funny. That shit be okay. I, I believe one of them bitches done put two million somewhere. Well, I don't know if it's Alicia, because she sold the album. And, oh, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let's go. Okay. You know, some people do want it all. Mm. And then others get nothing. At <laughs> all. That's what Sean to say. She said, bitch, I might not be able to get all, but bitch, I ain't finna get nothing either. Believe it, bitch. Okay. Believe it. Okay, all right. honest when it do what? Pays the motherfucking bill. Come on, Put that on learn, a t-shirt. Y'all better learn from Mashaun. If your husband rich and he cheat on you, bitch, you just better get with the goddamn program. That's okay. it. Suck his dick and hug uh, too. Hugs too. <laughs> <In> this case. <laughs> okay. All right. All shit. Now, I like, now, that didn't listen. Before we even call the name out, I put a spell on you. Yes, honey. Hoka poker. And now you're gone. Let me tell you something. White people, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> <laughs> I want to speak to my white people. White people, we fucks with y'all. <laughs> we let y'all come. Listen, y'all, y'all be y'all some of y'all be our distance because some of y'all actually, we actually carry y'all bloodline in us, okay? Mm -hmm. But see, we go right now we call it to the stand, Beck Midler. Beth Midler has done, done been caught up into a situation that I understand. Women are the N-word, excuse me, I can say it. Women are the niggas of the world. Raped, beaten, enslaved, married off, worked like dumb animals, denied oh education and inheritance, <laughs> enduring the pain and danger of childbirth and, and life in silence for thousands of, I don't years. know the rest. That's true. Thousands of years. Thousands of years. All right. Now, Beth Midler, you are being charged... 
with forgetting that you are white. Mm. <laughs> That's a crime. That's a crime. Is it a crime? It's a crime. Yes, it is. And it is punishable by, da, da, da. It is punishable by getting your ass whooped at the family picnic. It is punishable <laughs> by that. Now, Ben Miller, we fucks with you because we have been allowing you and your people to bring that potato salad with the raisins and apples in it <laughs> to our picnics for the long day. We have been calling you cousin. But let me tell you something. I don't care how black you may be associated with. I don't care how many black maids you have in your mansion. Uh, I don't care how many black motherfucking servants you have in your house. How many black friends like Sidney Portier that may come over there mm -hmm. and have a cocktail with you on be Wednesday that, night? Beat that box in. You already know we are living in a sensitive time. You said beat in the box. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I don't care how many black penises you have had in your warm white cooch. Okay? No matter how much you fall up under the umbrella of those things. You are a white woman and there are certain things that you, because baby Twitter took her out and dragged her outside of the picnic, bitch. They dropped, they, she was trying to run and she dropped that motherfucking raisin in field potato salad, bitch, out there on the ground. She did. She ran out and came and shared made that girl run. Yes, bitch, very that. It was very that. So listen, here's the thing. Me, personally, you know, I'm not one of those reactionary people. I judge folks by their intentions and I read into it. I get what Beth was saying. And for the record, those are not Beth's words. Those are Eleanor Roosevelt's words. Clear up, Dineva. That she was Clear just up. reposting. Here is what I find. All right, bitch, you might be back. You might be able to come back to the here, picnic. Here's what I find <laughs> Beth guilty of. And it's just something that she would not know being a white woman. <laughs> With Trump being in office, people's sensitivities are heightened. And it's just the wrong racial climate for anybody white to, to be, be making sad. any metaphors using the mm -hmm. N word. Her intentions were pure. And what she said is absolutely true. What she was trying to say is women in this country are cheated like second class citizens the same way black people were. That is correct. And are. That's yeah, what yeah. she meant. Yeah. That's you know, but because of the racial climate that we in, and what, what she said, coon, what she said, Nizzle. black what, who, you know, we just, we get so reactionary. She really did not do anything wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. But Her intentions were not bad. And it's just, I, I, I just think had this been uh, pre-Trump, that this would have stayed in the news for two days and just went on and people wouldn't have thought much of it. But Not now, and the point she made about Whoopi earlier. You know, yeah. And I said, you know what? Now, and if Whoopi Goldberg would have said it, it wouldn't have been a damn but problem. Whoopi people would have been able to get it for what it was. Yeah. But because she's white and remotely use the n-word it's just ah, what she said right, right. well if you listen to what she said she didn't say anything offensive but you know you can't tell people that well i just want to say this to bet mittler um, just Bette. white folks leave any n-word references just leave uh, I, we got about another five years on these tensions yeah before shit calms so, <laughs> so five years just so basically, Dineva, I just want to say... We're going to put a hocus pocus spell on her tongue. Yeah, we're going to put a hocus pocus spell on her tongue, and it's going to start off with, in the words of Cat Williams, don't be sorry, ho. Be, be careful. careful. Yeah. Next case. Next case. All right. Period. So we're going to go on to... Who is this? Laquan right? McDonald. The cop, killer, the, the cop killer that killed Laquan McDonald is charged with 15 years. So, you know, the significance of that is that this is one of the first cases with this, you know, inequality with the police brutality and situations in which the officer has finally effing yeah. been charged. Like, yeah, we've yeah. gotten some justice. Can we get a praise dance in here? Yes, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Us all in this okay. room. Um, you know, I just want to say one thing. You know, it's a 
and, 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 and not to take away from the victory, but it just speaks to the fact that it is a sad day in this country that we have to celebrate the fact that somebody somebody's been finally for been a crime charged. that they fucking did. Yes. That, that that shouldn't be something that we have to damn celebrate. But as black people in this country, we got to take yes. the small victories where we can get them. You know, and I just hope. You know, I just hope that this is a wake up call for all you white supremacists and all you police officers that just treat people any kind of way. You know, I had a dream the other day, I was thinking this to myself. I had a dream. You dream? Come on, Martin. I don't understand understand why they can't train these police officers to have good customer service. Like, I I just like, why, like, when you pull me over? And if I just got a busted tail light, why can't you just come to my car and be like, hey, sir, how you doing today? You know, how you doing? You know, you're looking nice. The reason I pulled you over is because you had a busted tail light. It's like when you come with all that hostile, why is you hostile with me and my tail light broke? I'm the one should be mad. You should. What you mad for? Because, right. they got to understand. Because you about to give me a ticket and I got to pay for this and I don't get paid the next week. You know what I'm saying? So, what you mad for? The dick's love. They got little dicks, that's why they mad. <laughs> <laughs> and they usually know the motherfucker they pull it over got a big ass dick. Mm-hmm. So they get mad about that shit. Well, I don't know yeah. about that. Shit, I don't well, been pulled over, but I know my dick is bigger than the police. I don't office. fuck state workers or county workers, no, so she I wouldn't she got the biggest dick. I like them with a the check. I ain't never said that. I ain't even really got one. That's that's the <laughs> cool. Yeah, that's funny. But what if they have Wait a minute, you say though. you don't fuck state workers, I need Or county workers. <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't what you told me. You know, this they, is a state they, job we do. They don't do make enough, honey. We sure fuck this weekend. Nah, it's federal, honey. I'm at the top, bitch. I'm Kavanaugh, bitch. I'm at the Supreme level. Speaking of. Supreme. Court. Speaking of, oh, this food up segue. right on in. That was a great segue. Ladies and mm-hmm. gentlemen, girl, the Senate has confirmed Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court, ending in a clash with the last, with the last of all. before we even really get into this, do you know that white women been on their knees? Wait a minute. <laughs> let, let me say this the right Tell way. Tell me something I don't know. Right, let me say this the right way. Let me say this right. White women have been kneeling. Because of this situation. Am I correct, mm-hmm. Craig? I want to say yeah. this the correct way. In They've response been to this, response yeah, because he was confirmed. This. Now, I want to tell y'all white y'all white women something. I love all my white women and things like that, but I don't love y'all bitches that voted for motherfucking Trump. Y'all bitches were kneeling mm-hmm. when motherfucking got the George Bush offspring was there in the office. Y'all was not kneeling for those things, so don't get in there and do no Kaepernick situation mm-hmm. now. Well, here's the thing. Kaepernick and all the other people who were taking the knee at that very controversial time have taken all the heat. Now that Nike has co-signed and solidified and, and the knee ain't going nowhere, now y'all want to fucking hijack the protest. Let me tell you something. Pick another body part. Pick another <laughs> symbol. Okay. The kneeling thing is specific and solely belongs to the struggle of black folks yeah. in inequality. I love y'all to death and I understand what y'all are trying to do but it waters down the significance of the protest when it comes to black people and black issues. Yes, so sir. pick another body part, lay on your back and spread both of your legs. Yeah. Like you been yeah. doing that, yeah. okay? You been that. doing it. Let that, be yeah. sim- that, let that be the symbolism that your ass need or whatever the fuck y'all do over there at Susan G. Coleman Race for Breast Cancer. Take, take her mantra and logo, but leave the knee to black people. That is not a universal protest. That's not a, oh, we have an issue with America. That is a black people promoting, I mean, uh, protesting against inequality mm-hmm. to America, and that's where it shall remain. And we love do y'all. Not, um, we do. Appropriate the, 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 do, do not okay. appropriate the damn protest the way y'all appropriate every damn thing else from black people, especially considering the fact that y'all have not lost and put on the line the things that the Kaepernicks and the other people have. See, it's easy to take a knee now, now that, now that, now that it's cool. Now that, that Nike, cool. now that Nike is coming out with those you know what I'm saying? Now that it's paid now, but before motherfuckers were scared to even get on their knees to pick the tie their damn shoe. Or mm-hmm. shit. Let me saying? tell you something. Them white women were never scared to be on their knees. Well, you know how many black dicks they done suck? Girl, next case. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Speaking of white women on their knees, Melania Trump was in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Nairobi, and we have video footage of the first lady in Nairobi. You know, I've never seen her as the first lady. We can't. We ain't about what we see. I'm just it never received her that way. Listen, listen, I understand. So let me tell you something. What we can't never do? Because I was the hole that turned into a house. Why we can't never? No, do. you know. Maybe <laughs> 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 that's that brown liquor getting. That's in that you. what's the tea. That, okay. Um, no, it's just like you know she's not been visible as previous first lady. So I, I still, my mind, my mind has not made the connection between her 
and, and the, the first lady. Yeah, yeah, it just. Well, listen, we knew what she was, and I ain't hating on her because I used to be a whore. And, one, and you know what? She has really given me hope that one day I can be the president's wife. <laughs> I know that's right. If you're going to be a hoe, yeah. that's what you like to be. Yeah. These hoes are just yeah. fucking for bags and hamburgers and shit. Bitch, and, and, and tied you know, Fuck for countries and continents. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So, you know, we, so, the, so the first lady was out in Nairobi in Africa. She loved Africa. She do, but baby, they didn't love her. Please roll the footage. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Much Maybe that like colored dogs, elephant. <laughs> animals, no. Animals are very perceptive. I got two dogs. And I'm going to tell you something. If you come in my house and my dogs won't Don't go feel near no you, it, it make me look back. Dog, animals <laughs> are very perceptive. Yeah. In that, that motherfucking elephant let her ass know, like, bitch, you don't come her, don't bring in America shit over here to Nairobi. And she probably got her husband's spirit all on her and in her. And in her, definitely <laughs> in her. But you know what, to be honest with you, I don't even think she's sucking that dick. That dick don't even get up no more. I don't think it went down there big enough to suck quiet as it's kept. You know, she had to get her money, so I ain't. And all them him. hips he got, I think he take it in the ass. You believe it. Off the travel, her pass. No, but I heard it ain't bad. I'm a kid that get yes. took off from getting broke off. From the baby's dad. Because he's the baddest. But see, I'm gonna say this, Maddie. I say we just go ahead and let her go because that elephant got the best of her ass. Yeah. <laughs> we'll go ahead. Time served. Time. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Speaking of time served, a Lyft driver pulls up on his wife and his side piece. Ooh, At the I same damn time. Right. Bitch, the Lyft driver that. pulled up because they she had them ordered. What's mm -hmm. to give us the yeah, give us the, the give she us? She had ordered. She was with her side piece. No. They ordered. They requested a lift. When the driver pulled up, it was her husband. She, oh, had, she didn't look down at the phone when they say Michael me. driving Volkswagen with license plate LGBTQ13 coming. See, the quiet is just kept. The husband, he motherfucking do his pickup things on his lift drive, on his lift too. So, yeah. but see, I'm wondering if it was the if it was the side piece that, that called the lift. Yeah. Oh, that was the no, gentlemanly yeah. thing was, to do. The husband was using his friend's Uber account. Oh, oh. oh. so oh, that means he didn't know. That means she didn't know he was moving like this. Listen, what we gonna do? We're gonna send them to release the secrecy under because I know she got two, three STDs as it is. <laughs> this case. <laughs> Hey, All right. They're going to send her to Planned Parenthood, honey. <laughs> she, she need to go to Planned Parenthood. Rat in the grapes. Like, girl, I don't know this story. What's going oh, on? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm on the wrong Sorry. thing. My bad. Wait a minute. We was... <laughs> Left her uh, carjacked, carjacked, honey. There was okay. a bunch of carjacks. Dangerous in men on the run after third carjacking in six... This in Atlanta. But they were Lyft drivers. They were Lyft drivers. They, they, were, lift they drivers? were getting carjacked. And they just kept happening. So these were Lyft drivers getting carjacked? Yes. No trade. Over by Morehouse. Over by Morehouse. Child, it would be over there. We don't even call Lil. We need the, we need license suspended. Let me get them on the phone, Lil. <laughs> you got a number? It's one eight hundred Lil. Thank you, girl. <laughs> it's raining. It is. <laughs> <laughs> what are they saying? Hello. Girl, what are they saying? <laughs> What they saying? <laughs> How you know this me? <laughs> yeah, I was in the back of your car last week. Oh, no, oh, oh, no. no. We must be. I was calling about the car jack. No, not the meat jack, and the car jack. Oh, uh, Lord. <laughs> or a hangout. Hangout, girl. You finna go. <laughs> girl, we need another no, advocate. We need You're not the else? right one. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I can't try this case okay. right here. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. But you know what? <laughs> Can't have nothing from you niggas. <laughs> right, that live this, you know how many people out there ain't got no transportation. Me for one, I ain't had no car for seven years, and that's how I was getting around. I use Uber. And now you can't that's even right, mess around with the Lyft and the Uber, Uber without getting damn car. And that's big. Listen. No, that was on live. Let me tell y'all something, and I mean this with everything in me. In 2018, when you go taking shit from people. You deserve to get your motherfucking brains blown the yes, fuck out. Do. I don't you give a damn if you steal a pack of bubble gum yes, from me. Yes, People yes. work too hard for the little bit that they got for you motherfuckers out there who was too goddamn lazy to get up, get out, and get something to be trying to take something from somebody. And how late is motherfucking carjacking these days? Right. Who the fuck is still breaking down cars and selling radios and bumpers and shit? Bitch, this ain't Who's new Jack doing City? That? 
<laughs> like, bitch, in 2018, they still in phones. Like, up your game. Still yeah. an iPhone. Yes. This ain't New Jack City Pookie in there. And any bitch that's lifting or Ubering with their vehicle, the car ain't worth shit no way. Because anybody got pride in their real vehicle ain't putting all them goddamn miles on that. Let these drunk ass white people throw up down to the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what the fuck I'm going to do with a mudded out central? <laughs> but for real. Oh, oh, yeah. I can do a lot with it, bitch. I can trap in that dope like I used to back from my man. Okay, next case. Oh, I don't want to be on the case. Next case. All right, so we're going to go back to what we talked about previously. There was a rap found in Grace. Uh, 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 This was submitted by our our director of uh, social media, Adrienne Lancaster. Lancaster. And Adrian, where did you get this story from? Baltimore, Maryland. This came from Baltimore! Hey girl, y'all ain't y'all getting ready to go there? We going to Baltimore! I think you might need to cancel it, baby. I don't want shit from now. (laughs) Baltimore, they sit, see. Baltimore nasty. They got Monique. Not too much. I'm from they, Baltimore. They got oh, Monique. Listen, listen. Not listen. too much. They got rats. Right. And y'all know Craig nasty. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Okay. 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 Everybody eating on ass some of Craig. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Some of that Baltimore seafood. Okay. <laughs> well, we going to let Craig go and the rat. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next we got. Uh, all right. Chance the uh, Rapper has donated $1 million, $1 million to mental illness. In this service in Chicago. Excellent. That's dope. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a round of applause for Chance. Oh, Listen, I, I want to say this before we move on to the next case. I have watched Chance the Rapper come in as an internet rapper and have done more things yep. than those the, yep. those world ra- yep. worldwide, world-renowned rappers Robert. have done in a short period of time. You know one thing I like mm-hmm. about Chance and Kendrick Lamar? They don't just speak about it, they be about it. That's right. Yeah, and I, what I like it. about them, they're much like me in the sense that I don't need ninety million dollars. Like, what I'm gonna do with it? The lifestyle. Wait and a minute. You don't know what no, you're gonna no, do. No, 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 I, mean, I, mean, I don't. Know, because here's the thing. <laughs> Pass that shit. Here's, 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 here's the thing. After you hit a certain amount of money, the lifestyle is the same. It is. Now, that's it's true. the same. So I like the fact that he's like, he go a million. Like here, I, 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 I ain't got nothing to do with it. Instead of hoarding it. Let me be altruistic and help inspire some change. And I just love those young brothers and, the, and what they're doing. And that's why they continue to get more and more and more. I'm going to tell you one thing. An old lady under the tree told me, when you do like this, you absolutely right. Nothing go out. Right. But nothing come in either. You can't be right. tight-fisted. My mama has always taught me, you cannot expect God to put anything in your hand if you ain't putting nothing out. How your hand gonna get something in it when it's closed all the time? But you just That's why I be blessed like yep. this. You Give know what? I need, I need to go ahead on and elaborate on that. Neva, you fuss with me the long way. You you see the vision with mm-hmm. me and we see the vision with each other. Mm-hmm. You don't knock me over my head. I don't. I'm, just, I'm gonna tell you the mystery show. I love you, bitch. I love down. you more. I love you more. Bitch, I love you, bitch. Oh. 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 <laughs> and speaking of love, let's talk about Tina Lawson and shading her husband on the Black that Love girl, series. She gonna fuck around and find herself single again. <laughs> Back <laughs> on the prowl. <laughs> Thought it was worth it, it, worth it. but I, I don't, don't know how. how. <laughs> yes. And you know how they do it, how they act. They get on the Black Series and Tina Lawson knows shade you from the back. Period. Roll that footage. Cause I shall we the type of man I wanted. I prayed for the type of man I wanted. And I got pretty much that. Is he perfect? Absolutely not. But, you know, no. he has a lot of the qualities. No. no. He has a lot of the qualities that, uh, that I love. And we're having a really good time. And I'm enjoying life. So there is hope, women. Let me tell you something. That man didn't appreciate that shit. But he's a classy based man. He's a classy man. I am not going to embarrass my wife down to this public exit. But I'm damn sure going to whoop my ass in the elevator piece if we get over there. Let me tell you something. As soon as them camera people loaded that last piece of equipment in that car, he pulled that bitch out. Then he went down to the bar and stayed out at 2 in the morning. Period. How would you? Why would and got you him a good that? piece of white pussy that, that Matthew Knowles always say he saw on Tina Knowles. Why would you? Right. Tina Knowles. You know what we gonna do? What we gonna do? For we her? gonna sentence her ass y'all look to five years in that sweatshop. They was making them damn cheap ass dairy on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Next case. Next case. <laughs> All right. Speaking of sweatshops, Bill Cosby wants out of prison <laughs> already. You might as well die. <laughs> That's the only way you getting out. Listen, Bill Cosby currently is serving three to ten. Three to what is it, Craig? Three to ten. 
Three to ten, yeah. He's serving no, three to ten. ten. It's basically thirty years. So he's sense of work. Oh my god, and he was out of custody already. <laughs> uh, it is. You think his ass sore? Look at it. nobody fuck your old ass bitch. Baby, <laughs> they end up making booty pops in jail. But I, I saw beat. something. I saw something on the social media today. I don't know how true it is. It said that nah, that he fell out. No, that, that's the old one. They said that he got hit in the head with a chicken breast or a chicken sandwich. <laughs> they they keep throwing food at this blind man. And it's not funny. <laughs> but it, like, I'm not laughing at his circumstance. I'm laughing at just the visual of you walking to the bathroom and somebody throwing. Hitting you upside the head with a chicken that like that's just so disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather you just walk up to me and punch me than just throw a damn a whole chicken bread. Well, they ain't pay for it. They're not yeah, but it's just don't child. Child, I mean, they should have hit his head with a thing. With thing. A, with a bowl of jello. <laughs> 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 who is, who is reporting this? Report? Is the prisoners reporting this? No, no, we'll give it up to T. But you know, I, I unfortunately, I mean, I, I I can't feel sorry for you. That's what come along with prison. All right. Well, ain't that right? Cause you been be right. <laughs> they, I'm just, how many times you Listen, been? Listen, one thing about me, when, and whenever I went to jail, I've been treated like the queen that I am. Period. How many times you said whenever? How many times you went? A couple. <laughs> <laughs> a couple like this or like this. <laughs> <laughs> a couple is very vague. <laughs> One time, but it was for a suspended license, so oh, me that'll too. really count. Well, listen. According to page six, Bill Cosby lawyers are trying not are trying to not only get him out of the slammer, but have the case and the judge tossed too. Mm. A defense team that filed motion on Friday argues that trial judge Stephen O'Neill made a mistake in declaring the comedian a sexually violent predator and sentenced him to three to ten years in prison. Associated Press reports, and also according to Hollywood or not. You know what? I'm going to say this, and I haven't said this in a while. Free bill. Free bill. Fuck that. No, hell no. Hell no. Let me tell That's you one thing about it. Let me tell you one thing about it. You're going, thing about it. you're going to pay on the front end or the back end, but you're going to pay. Okay, come and it's best that you pay on the front end because you pay on the back end, you're going to pay penalties and interest. Bill is a prime example of paying on the back end. If he was younger, we would be saying leave his ass there. The fact that you old does not exonerate the fact that you committed these damn crimes. He and I don't give a damn what y'all say. I'm with you. He didn't <laughs> rape all of them, but he raped one, and one is enough. Yeah. That's it. Fuck you, bitch. All right. Next case. Next case. All right, moving on to oh, fuck you, bitch. A white woman defends <laughs> two Hispanic women in a store. Please roll this footage. Harass people. Hey. You Get know, out of here now. You know what? Do not. I'm care. calling the cops. You know what? You leave these women alone. Get out. You know Go. What? You come from a uh -uh. generation. No, I do not. Your I have respect, and you it does not lose it. matter. You, you don't harass lose people like you this. You will lose your temper. All right. You know what? You will lose this. Temper. No, you need yes, to leave. You will leave me alone. How are you doing? How you doing? Dear white people, yes. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> this, when it comes to racial inequality, is what we want from you. Not guys. just want, we need. This, this is what we need. This is racism is a white people disease, and only y'all can cure it. We've been hollering about it. it's been wrong since slavery, and we've made some strides, but only other white people, and let me tell you something. I love my white people individually, but collectively, I think some, as, as a collective, I think y'all just not shit as a people. I really do. Yeah, and don't yeah. get me wrong. It's not Columbus Day, Dineva. And as individuals, you gonna I say have, this on no, Columbus so, Day? That's the perfect I, and, time and, and, to say and it. I don't want oh, it to be misconstrued. Great. I'm not racist. There are white people in my life that have treated me nothing but with, with, with respect and love. And I love you guys individually, but as a collective, you're a shitty group of people. Period. And this is what is needed from you guys. If you see something, say something. Period. And that in my that 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 lady, she is a white hero, a white person checking her. another white person. That's what the fuck we need and want and expect from you guys. So what we gonna Because you're, you're, you're complicit in your silence. If you're mm -hmm. silent, that means you agree with what's going on. So what we're going to do here at the Queen Supreme Court is we're going to award her uh, $1 million. Yes, God. Now, we don't know what we're going to get. Get it, bro. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Work ain't honest. But it pays the bills, well, baby. Pays the bills, baby. <laughs> All right. Next up, we have, uh, we're going to skip, we're going to skip. Well, oh, no, what we have that's going to correlate with that is uh, the hotel manager attacks. This was just in. I was scrolling on, uh, and this came from the Savvy Show. Roll this footage. We just saw it. You probably don't even want to do it because you're so fucking crazy. Wait, we're going to skip. Uh, marijuana all day so whatever the bottom line is you what are you laughing about What's because so funny? This, is, this is going on news eight. Oh, oh good it's going on because you don't because you don't you, you don't care right you don't care right ma'am this is going on news eight illegally. you don't I am contacting my lawyer this is going on news eight ma'am don't touch me, me. don't touch me give don't me touch phone. me or that's assault and battery give me you're your going phone. on news eight for swearing and for saying you don't do this for and that swearing. yeah exactly you don't give what about you don't give what about us? That couldn't have been us. Let me mean. tell you one thing about me, baby. I don't believe if I was to punch that motherfucker. <laughs> out of that face. Bitch, don't you <laughs> jump across no goddamn counter at me. <laughs> Bitch, I'd have whooped that whole ass on general principle. And she it wouldn't did. have been no thought, and I ain't a violent person. But just that initial oh, you, you, you saw how that demon and that devil oh, came up. Yeah. That devil, she didn't even mean to do that. That was that devil. Oh, yeah, I got it. In her, <laughs> shot up through her bones. <laughs> Man, I'd have beat that bitch ass. Bitch, a bitch, and if you could, I would, because I'm and, 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 see, and here's the thing, right? You know, I you don't gonna, advocate on, violence. We gonna be at a hotel in, uh, on October I wish a motherfucker would. Where we gonna be at? Down to the Orlando? Down to the Orlando. So you this know goes out to the whole Orlando. <laughs> if I do something wrong, bitch, send me an email or speak to me nicely. But if you ever <laughs> jump across jump the, the motherfucking counter, bitch, you better be ready for every motherfucking thing I got, including my gun and my goddamn purse. Bitch, I better. Florida is a stand your ground state. I just might will. Oh, <laughs> I knew I felt the spirit. That made you feel. That shit made me mad because I'm all about you know you. Ooh. God, I need to take a moment. That shit made me mad. <laughs> it did because it was unnecessary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it is, and, and I'm sorry, white women, y'all got it bad. Mm -hmm. If that man would have slapped that bitch, then she'd have been hollering, rape, oh help, God. this, yeah. he attacked me. No, she would have been saying, him. she would have been saying, Mike! Like, Mike! You, know, like, Mike! you know, you know you got entitlement in your bone marrow <laughs> when you feel comfortable as a manager of a corporate establishment jumping across a goddamn counter and, at a customer. And listen, that you, that's how you know you got white supremacy on your side. That's why mm -hmm. you got to have, you got to feel the confidence in your soul to, to, to motherfucking put Rock your foot home. deep in her fucking ass <laughs> until that bitch shit black toenails yeah. for the rest of my life. I'm gonna tell you something. I had a friend one time, a hood bitch, a bitch named Reese. Hey, shout out to Reese. Now that kept your hood ass. And, and, and Reese somebody, peanut butter cup. somebody kept fucking with us, and she said, "You know what the problem is." I said what? She said that bitch ain't been hit hard enough. And she went in here that bitch. <laughs> and she was about to, she went in the bathroom. We was down to the courthouse and scared the shit out of her. But, I, but I'm telling you, some people <laughs> just ain't been hit hard enough. Right. That bitch ain't been hit hard enough. Here she wouldn't be doing she the fuck. Did, she, she, so what we're going to do, we're going to sentence her to blows to the face. <laughs> Very hard. You ready to do this? Six rounds in the MMA, bitch. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Next uh, case. Next case. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got one last case on the on the court ledger before we do the one got to go. We're going to talk about the bodybuilder that beats yeah. his girlfriend. Yeah. I didn't see this, wow. girl. Girl, she God. beat her. She beat her. She went go roll the footage. Black and white. Investigators say the man launching the violent attack on his girlfriend is Paul Bashi, a 35-year-old bodybuilder. And during the 40-minute ordeal, he repeatedly kicks her, punches her, throws lit candles with hot wax on her, and the stab wounds almost too many to count. She was beaten to within an inch of her life in this case. But what happened on Monday stunned prosecutors, the 23-year-old victim coming to court in support of the man accused of nearly killing her. This poor woman who's been in this abusive relationship and was beaten so severely showed up at court to, to ask the judge to, to have us dismiss the charges, to um, release the defendant, and, and to, 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 to tell the judge that it was at least partly her fault. That also showed him speeding off after dragging his girlfriend's lifeless body outside. First of all, let me let y'all know, son, that dick ain't big enough to be going through no shit yeah, like that. That nigga is a bodybuilder. You know what that shit do. Yeah. Them steroids has got that dick about this big. It ain't big enough to be going through no shit like that. And you know what I'm gonna say, and, I, and I'm not excusing what he did at, at all, but you know they say when them people be on them steroids that they do mess up their mind. I'm gonna tell you something. I don't think that it is 
normal for a human being to inflict pain and brutality on another human being. And I think for 40 minutes. For 40 minutes. Well, he, well, he so I think channel. when when people do stuff <laughs> like that, <laughs> obviously your mind is been like like I'm the person that watch people get punched in fight videos, and it makes me cringe. Like it's not normal for you to beat somebody like that. Yeah, try you. Not for 40 minutes. I'll be mean, on for two days, bitch, if I need to. <laughs> but it ain't gonna be nobody that I love, though. You know, but what's but even more sad, that, what's even more sad is the fact that she went down to the court and, and advocated for him to be released, so on and so forth. So the question that I have that is, is, where is her village? Yeah. Cause, where's your mama, your cousin, your homegirl, and all that? Bitch, you was on the fucking news. Years. Somebody know you. Yes. Somebody know you. Somebody your man. know you screaming like Where's that. Your, if, my, if, if my sister, my friends, or whatever, I would hijack my friend and handcuff their ass in your basement. Bitch, you ain't showing up to that court date. I'm going. My friend was too scared to come. And, her and she was black. black. And you know, bitch, you going to prison, bitch. Oh, she was but too she need a racy. She need a racy. She, she was too scared and her eye was too black. And while that motherfucker was in jail, I'd be right there running up every motherfucking credit card that he had and stealing shit and selling shit. Well, the gag is she had already did it. That's why he had to put that table across. I ain't head. laughing at that. <laughs> <laughs> but no shame. You know, I already got attacked the last time on here because they said I was talking about people bad situations. I ain't laughing at that. Girl, that's that's Maddie. Funny. Attack Maddie on <laughs> Don't social fight. media. <laughs> bitch, I fight back. But you got to, I'm Reesey, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Reesey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now, not to be funny, but we're going to go head on and we're going to tackle this final thing here before we do the one got to go. In our LBGT community, uh, this Thursday, uh, friends of Stacey Blonick share the memories of their dear friend and discuss the lack of involvement from law enforcement and LBGT community when handling the murder of trans women. Yeah. Please run the foot this, uh, this tape for me. Please. We are here in the 1800 block of Manson Street in South Philadelphia where Stacey Blonick Lee was murdered in her home. I just believe when it comes to trans affairs and the LGBT, the cops don't take things seriously. If you look at how many trans women have been killed before Stacey, after Stacey, how many of those murders have been solved? If Stacey was here, where would we be at in our life? Ladies and gentlemen, let me defer to you. Yeah, let me let me run the information that I received. A web-based LBGT talk show entitled Outpour discusses the murder of Stacey Blonick Lee the overall mother of the House of Blotic in a two-part documentary, documentary that, that discusses how the criminal justice system and LBGTQ community handles hate crimes against trans persons of color and how to become more involved. Stacy was murdered almost a decade ago, but mm. police have no suspects and it's now a cold case. The documentary leaves you with a provoking sense of action to fight for your brothers and sisters of the trans experience. This show is produced and directed by Antar Bush, Robert Graves, and Christopher Potts. Please follow them at Outpour LBGTQ, Blackbeard, Blackbearded Jesus, Antar Bush, MSWMPH, Outpour LBGT, LB, excuse me, L, LGBTQ. Read the whole address again. That One once again, time. that's Outpour LGBTQ, Blackbearded Jesus. Antar Bush, M S W M P H, and Outpour L G B T Q. Thank you. You know, and I, I had to do that because I get lots of backlash stating that I don't do a lot of stuff, you know, for my trans sisters and stuff like that. Because a lot of people feel that I don't, because I don't, I haven't had a trans woman sit on the bench that, you know, but. We talked about this on the podcast. Please make sure you subscribe to our podcast so that you can hear my response and situation to that, to that, to that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, being trans is definitely not, it's not an easy situation. You're hated because they feel like that you have a mental disorder and stuff like that. So I, I, this resonated in my spirit. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going, we're coming to the end of our show before we get over to our, our after show. After show. And we're going to get down to one gotta go. One of these hoes got to go. One gotta go. And on the one gotta go, we have, I don't know, know these pictures. Craig, where did you Girl, go? Mary J. Oh, that's Mary J. Blige. Faith Evans. Faith Evans. Faith gotta go. <laughs> Kelly Price. That's Kelly Price. And yeah. they got now Whitney Biden Deborah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies.
ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do right now is Dineva and I are going to choose who we feel has to go. And once we, Dineva and I choose who we feel has to Faith. go, Faith. Uh, we're going to uh, show you guys. I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to say who has to go and it Faith. will be, you know. Do, 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 First Come CD. on. Because, bitch, if anybody has ever been blessed by Face First CD, you wouldn't even fix your fingers Ooh. to write the letter F. <laughs> I hope Bette Midler put a spell on you and your fingers. No. Oh, you bitch, you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the cheater you invoked eat your ass in your dream. No. <laughs> your dead ass wrong. Listen, let me tell you something. This is the bitch that got to go. Oh, no. That's right. She got to go. Shade Kelly Price. I just gotta keep. I couldn't I pick she Kelly. Deborah ass got to Deborah go. Deborah only got one. Deborah don't got no musical contribution nowhere near as significant as them damn three ladies. First of all, period. She, first of all, five I, songs, five Deborah songs. One, two, three, go. Five. My five. Exactly. How did I get here? How did you get here? Whatever that shit's called. That's one. Five. 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 Shut up. Five. Five. Okay. Four more. Five, 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 uh. And that ain't her. That ain't Deborah. <laughs> that's who she trying to be friends. Okay, that's a duet. What okay, that's two. What else you Yeah. Faith got to go. Fuck all that. That whole tribe be a drag con, bitch. I'm fed you. I'm fed you. You biased. You biased. Fuck that You biased. She over that sucker, Stephen J. Nuts, bitch. She got to go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you. No, that's not allegedly. That's not allegedly, bitch. Ooh. She started sucking Stephen J. Nuts, and guess what happened? Silence. <laughs> You're loving. Oh, oh, you saw that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join us on the after show. The call in number is 515 604 9300. Call in now. 515 604 9300. And fucking Diva and I are going to be invading Orlando, Florida. Orlando, y'all. Oh. It's Monday. So we will not be seeing you guys loud, live, and in color on the show, bitch, because you got to get your tickets if you want to see me and the doll, me, the doll, and Jesse. And Jesse Wu. Shouts out to Jesse Wu. Shouts out to my Haitian sister. My Haitian sister. And then, bitch, seven days later, my birthday, October 22nd, I'll be turning the age of 40, motherfucking one. I'm going to be doing it in the city of Baltimore, Maryland, where the, where the big, fat black cocks are. That's why Greg lives in Atlanta. So, therefore... <laughs> Get your tickets at www.eventbrite.com, bitch. And we are headed upstairs to the fucking original table, bitch. And we're about to fucking do this live after show, bitch. Make sure you register to vote. And make sure you yes, register to vote. The ninth Tuesday, tomorrow is the last day, y'all. Chichi, you register to vote? Change your voters' registration or whatever or register. Right. So please do that. Because Craig, Craig said, because Craig said that I was supposed to put you out because you were registered to vote. I said that. You got to listen to the Make sure you subscribe to the podcast. Craig said that. Craig said that. Craig said that. I said that. Craig 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 said that. No, I said you have Listen, heard. Craig, you don't know Chi Rick nickname is Reese. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, catch us up there. See you later. Roll that footage, Dizzy. Is you live? Is you live, whore? Whore, are you live? Oh, yes, honey. It is that time, baby. The Queen's Supreme Court will be loud live and always and forever in color in Orlando, Florida. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The doll is bringing the seat to your city. Bitch, Funky Doniva and Jesse Wu will be my guest Supreme Court judges. Ladies, jurors, gentlemen, get up, start 
what you're doing right now. Get over there and get your tickets at www.eventbrite.com. That's www.eventbrite.com. And look for the Queen's Supreme Court live show in Orlando. Don't beat me there, bitch. These tickets is gonna sell out fast, so you bitches better get them now. Get over there to www.eventbrite.com and look for the Queen's Supreme Court live in Baltimore. That's the Queen's Supreme Court live in Baltimore, Maryland, bitch. And listen, don't meet me there, honey. <laughs> Beat me there. Oh, yes. 